so this shraddha is a feeling it does not disturb distract your foreground mind feelings are in the background mind and feelings are of japa practice now mindful japa is on japa practice online practice on japa practice so there is on japa practice of japa practice to perfect our japa preparing the background mind is of japa practice that is why you have to read again and again very nicely you know you have to understand this tattva behind the nama avatar then shraddha becomes very easy you can have very simple shraddha also but what happened simple shraddha somebody argues it's called komala shraddha very uh, superficial somebody argues you then you you it will disturb your mind and then he will say oh no i have i am doubt i am disturbed how is your god on sound i say on your tongue you will answer why god cannot be tongue oh, god cannot be a sound okay then god cannot be okay all right god can be anything but then how you can by your will create god that means your will is superior to god you chant and then immediately that is god you get disturbed now you can explain perfectly everything now forget about explaining we our mind requires an explanation we need a rational explanation so that we are not doing we are not engaged in some blind faith we want our faith to be reasonably explained as by the as per guru sadhu and shastra and the guru sadhu and shastra they offered us a very good explanation it's not that you know blind uh, faith so therefore existential exists faith existence faith and relationship faith both are just like for instance another example of relationship faith i'll give krishna says in the bhagavad gita kaunteya prachijani hi name bhakta pranashyati arjuna o son of kunti you declare to the world that my devotee shall never perish now this is a relationship krishna is saying i will always protect you tell he is making a devotee declare i will always protect my devotee so when the devotee has trust that krishna will never let him down that's a relationship faith krishna is on my tongue when i chant is an existence faith yes he is existing on my tongue after coming to the on the, on the tongue he will purify me by his association is a relationship faith he will come on my tongue and he will empower me to preach krishna consciousness he will give me service not only for pur- he not only purifies my heart he wants to engage me in his service in this in his mission in this material world because it is a nama who who empowers devotees enables devotees to preach krishna consciousness so that is also relationship faith 